My name's Graham Watson, I'm an English photographer uh, specialising in cycling. I've been following the Tour de France for 25, 26 years now, so I have a lot of experience. Uh, it's like coming back every summer for my annual holiday in France. And my day primarily is to photograph the race, the cyclists in it, the people that watch the race, the ambience around the race. It's a day that starts around uh, 8 o'clock in the morning and lasts until about 10 o'clock at night uh, in, in the situation of working. And then very late dinners, very late to bed and start again at 8 o'clock next morning. I get on the bike all day long, I follow the race. Uh, we set off normally in front of the race for 10 or 20 kilometres and I try to find some scenery shots. First of all, that's, that's very important to me, some scenery shots. And then as the race starts to unfold, then you get more and more interested in the actual racing itself to show all the, uh, the, the escapes, the échappé, and the attacks, uh, people being dropped or people attacking, uh, sometimes crashes. And for me, that's much more interesting than being in front of the race. To be in front of the race is nice to see the scenery, um, but it can be 50 or 60 kilometers before you find the right shot. And then I go back behind the peloton for a few hours. Pretty uh, intense uh, to work there. There's, there's a lot of photographers' motorbikes. There's official motorbikes, there's uh, gendarmes, and of course the biggest problem is there's 200 cyclists every day. And it, you, ha you have to be very um, experienced and very disciplined to do the job. I think there's competition between all of us, but I, as far as I can see it's friendly competition. I think now in the last five, ten years, it's working in the Tour de France has become so much more disciplined that you respect each other more because of it, and you have to work together and respect each other's uh, space on the road. My best moment is a, a, a simple one. Um, I think about a week ago, I was standing in a field uh, with a long, long telephoto lens, and long comes Armstrong in the yellow jersey in the middle of the peloton, and he just saw me, and he's, he's that professional. He saw me with a long lens. He knew what I, the shot I was taking, and suddenly he just started smiling at the camera from a distance of 30 or 40 meters away. <laughs> Definitely the worst moment was stage 15 when the motorbike broke. Um, on the uh, penultimate climb before Pladere. Uh, it happens, We've, I've overcome it. it, it's not a great major loss, um, but it's the worst thing that's happened on this tour, indeed for many years, because it's not the stage to have troubles with a motorbike, it's, uh, it's the most important stage of the race, so I didn't get 100% uh, satisfaction out of it, and so you just shrug your shoulders and you know, say, say la vie. Yeah. I don't, I don't get up in the morning thinking, oh my goodness, another day, I don't want to, I'm tired, I don't, I don't want to go to work today. Now, every day I wake up and I, I see the potential for pictures. And also, the, the final thing is that I could be doing something else, I could be working in a bank, I could be working in a factory, and uh, I like to tell my friends that it, it, it's better than working for a living. <laughs>